Hi, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the 12 days of fitness and today's practice is surely going to be able to get you moving and motivated and hopefully feeling good about what you've just done. So find a space either on a yoga mat or some space on your floor, whatever you have available and let's get started. So we're gonna start with our feet in a straddle position. So about a leg length stride. Line up the outer edges of the feet with the outer edges of the mat. Nice neutral pelvis, really important to be able to turn on the core effectively. Pubis bone and hip bones run parallel with the wall that you're facing. Relax your front ribs down. Now hugging the inner thighs like your heels are magnets to each other. Give a soft bend to the knees. Inhale, glide your hips forward as you extend up and back. Feel the opening of the hip flexors and then exhale, bring it right back down to the heart center. You should feel your core walls turn on. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, feet are hugging, they're very alive to the floor. Exhale, no lower back pain. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale and exhale. Two more times, inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale, awesome. Slightly shorten your stride. So you can see my feet are still much wider than my outer hips. Keeping neutral pelvis, relaxed front ribs. Hands to prayer, now sit yourself back. So from a side angle, your torso is at an angle. You're not upright. And this has also a lot to do with having pliable calves. All right, nice deep breath. Hug your legs, engage your glutes and pelvic floor. Inhale, like a forklift is lifting you. Wave your hips forward, extension. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Come through the center line, open the arms to T. Inhaling, press your arms forward, lean your hips back. Exhale, bend your knees, drop to the floor, sit into your hips. Roll yourself up, come through the center line with your arms. Exhale, bend your knees, hands to prayer. Inhale, press. Exhale, fold, hug the inner thighs, arms to T. Inhale, reach your arms alongside the ears, palms face in, bend your knees, drop it down. Roll it up, inhale, come through the center line. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. Inhale, press. And exhale, hugging the inner thighs, no locked knees. Inhale, reach alongside the ears. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, roll up like you're springing off a trampoline. Exhale, bring your hands to heart, keep flowing, inhale. Stack of ramen, exhale. Inhale, lean back as you reach forward, exhale. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, inhale, press. Nice fluid breath, exhale, no splaying the rib cage. Inhale, reach and lean back, exhale, bend and release. Roll it up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, press. Exhale, fold. Nothing sloppy. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, roll up. And exhale, hands to prayer. Awesome. Let's stay in your squat. Slightly turn out the toes. Bring the hands to the thighs. Keep the elbows long. Now sit into your shoulders. So lose your neck temporarily. Press and dive the left shoulder in. Look over your right shoulder. Really stretch your lower back. Press the left leg away. Keep breathing. Inhale, come through center. Dive now the right shoulder in. I'm pressing the leg away to help me keep my balance. Keep breathing. A nice turn for the spine. Catch your stretch. Really use the exhale to sink into the stretching fascia of the back. Inhale, come through center. Kick the heels out. Exhale, straddle forward bend. Inhale, come up to the fingertips. Let's rotate to the left. So your left, my right. Drop the back knee down and roll the toes. Roll it up. Level your hips. So get your booty and get your hamstrings underneath you. Front core walls are strong. Walk your front foot slightly out. Exhale, pushing into the front foot firmly. Start to lower down without dropping out. So push into the front leg. Inhale, bend and extend. Interlace the fingers as you reach, reach, reach. Drawing space up through the groin. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Keep hugging the inner thighs. 
Any sensation negatively in the lower back, re-square and level even more. Hardest part about the pose, and why I think many people don't even teach it, because it means you can't go as far. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Now if you need to use the floor, otherwise curl the toes under. Lift the knee, take a small step up with the back hip, or sorry, back foot, re-level and square. Hugging the inner thighs. Let's go back up, steeple the fingertips, drop your shoulders. Now again, my back heel is reaching, but not at the expense of my pelvis tipping forward. So if you need to, bend the knee to keep the stretch in the groin. Breathe. Keep squaring, grounded front foot. All right, listen carefully. Hands to the heart. Nice, steady balance. We're going straight up. We're not leaning forward. Inhale, exhale, step up. Bring the knee to hip level. Keep the hips level. Exhale, step it back. High lunge. Inhale, step it up. Exhale, gracefully step it back. This is not a clunky movement. Inhale, step it up. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, step it up. Hips are square and level. Exhale, step it back. Feel free to be by a wall. Inhale, step it up. Exhale, step it back. Notice how I'm bending my back knee when I step back. It's a lot easier on the ankle and the foot. Inhale, step it up. I'm staying tall. Glutes are charging. Exhale. Inhale, up. That means I'm using glute and hamstring. I'm not trying to use my quad or hip flexor. That's why we lean. Up. And back. Two more. Exhale, up. Or sorry, inhale, up. Exhale, back. Keep it square. One more time. Up. Now hold this. Hips are level. Hug the inner thighs. Flex the left palm. Same as the base arm or base leg. And then press down through your right arm. Flex the palms, drop your shoulders. Keep the hips level. Have an inert balance. Hands to heart. Exhale, step it back. Back foot flat. Open it up into a strong warrior two. Front knee bends. Pelvis is neutral and level. So no dropping the belly forward. Outstretch the arms, feeling the upper back engage without splaying the chest out. Full rotation out over the front fingertips. Really challenge your stride here, hugging the heels and hugging the inner thighs. You should feel the entire undercarriage of your body igniting. Full breathe, full breath. Keep reaching. Try not to let this pose go stagnant. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, feet turn parallel. Hugging the inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Drop it down into a straddle. No locking the knees. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Inhale, come up to your fingertips. Let's rotate over now to the right. Back knee drops down. Please pad the knee if you need to. Roll it up. Level out the hips. That might mean your stride is a little bit shorter. So when I roll the front thigh down, I'm jacking up the thigh and the hip of the back leg, which is going to get me into where I need to stretch. Walk the front foot slightly forward. Keep the back toes right behind the knee. So as you come forward, the stretch stays in the groin. We're not dumping out through the belly. Push firmly into the front foot. Keep the underside of the front leg active. Bend and extend the arms. Steeple and reach. Keep the stretch continuing all the way up to the fingertips. Hips are square. Breath is fluid.
reaching or bring the hands to the hips, curl the back toes under, lift the knee, take a small step up with the back foot. You're on the ball of the foot, not on the heel. Hips are squared forward, toes are squared forward. Level the hips, let's reach again. Inhale through the nose, exhale, keep anchoring the arms, keep hugging and squaring the hips. Try not to overlook that really important piece of what the pelvis is doing. Exhale, hands to prayer, pressing palms. Find a focal point, here we go. Inhale, step up, try not to jack the hip up. Exhale, step back, softly. Inhale, step straight up, base glues working really hard to help you. Step it back, exhale. Inhale up, exhale back. Just keep it square. Inhale, hip headlights are forward, exhale. Four more. One more. And now we're going to step up and balance. I'd rather have your foot down on the floor and balance steady than be doing the hopski dance, constantly bringing that foot up and down up off the floor. Level, engage the inner thighs, core strong, no leaning back. Base leg is the top arm. Flex the palm, root your shoulder, root your ribs. Flex the bottom palm, push. Have it in earth balance, you're the medium. Push the ceiling away, push the floor down. Now breathe, relax your toes. no flaring the ribs. Drop the shoulders, stay strong through the ankles. Inhale, lengthen the leg, turn the feet parallel, hinge from the hip, let's fold, exhale, not flaring the sit bones, hug your legs together. Inhale, come to the fingertips, bend your knees, sit back into your hips, any knee strain, I want you to walk the feet a little closer. Nice job, lean forward onto your fingertips, step or jump the feet together into a seated position. Great job, let's come onto our back. Knees into the chest, give yourself a nice hug. Open the arms to T, drop your feet to max distance, and just alternate dropping the legs, windshield wiper legs, side to side. Inner knee presses down, the hip of the inner knee floats up. This is a great in bed stretch. Before you go to bed, and even when you wake up, just giving yourself a few times side to side. And then back to center, walk the feet in, extend the legs out one to each corner of the mat, drop the arms down, relax the shoulders. Let's just take a few very conscious breaths here. Inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the nose.
Inhale, reach the arms overhead, stretch fingertips to toes. Bring the knees into your chest, a nice hug. Draw yourself over to one side, roll yourself up. Great job. Remember, every little bit does matter. Every little bit does help. It's as long as you show up, you participate 150%, and then each day you commit to that same process. Those little bits here and there will add up to a whole lot. Great job. From my heart to yours, from my soul to yours, I'll see you again soon. Namaste.